How's it guys? Welcome back. So today we're going to teach you how to make your own artisan bread. It's a quick and easy recipe, a no need recipe. Anybody can do it. If I can make it, you can make it. What are you going to need? You're going to need your all-purpose flour, you're going to need some kitchen salt, and you're going to need yeast. Just normal all-purpose flour with regards to the salt, we're using the fine Himalayan pink salt because it's not bleached like your kitchen salt, so it's actually better for this kind of cooking. And then you can use your instant yeast, you can use the quick rise, all those kind of yeasts. Right, all you're going to do then is you're going to put in three cups of flour into your bowl. You're going to put in one teaspoon of your salt. And then a quarter teaspoon of your yeast. Just put it all together in your bowl and on those quantities, and, and you just mix it in all together nicely. Okay, don't mess like I do, but just mix it in all together quite nicely. The next thing you're going to need is your water. Now, with the water, you don't need boiling water, but just warm water, so I just run the tap as warm as it can and then we just use that warm water. We are going to need one and a half cups of warm water. Get yourself a wooden spoon and then you just mix this into a nice sticky dough. Like I said, it's a no knead dough, so you're just going to mix this into a sticky dough. Don't go too vigorously because you don't want to lose all the, the air in between. Scrape the sides of the bowl off and as you can see it's becoming one big mushy lump. And that's what we want. Once you finish mixing you get a nice sticky dough. When you get to the sticky dough section all you have to do now is you get yourself some glad wrap and we're going to wrap this up with some glad wrap and then we're going to let it rest for 30 minutes. Glad wrap, just wrap it over your bowl. Stretch it all the way over to cover it. And there we go, that's your sticky dough. Like I said in the beginning of the video, it's a nice and easy dough to make. All you really need is those couple of ingredients and time. Because when you get to the sticky dough consistency, put your glad wrap on and now you're going to let it rest for three hours. Once, you've got, once we're done with the three hours resting, we'll show you what the next step is. Three hours later and this is what your dough looks like. It's risen quite a bit. All we have to do now is we're going to get a bit more flour. Dust your counter. Dust your counter well because this dough is very sticky. Like I said, it's a no knead dough, but it really is sticky. Right, we're gonna take our, our dough now. Take your plastic off. Take your spatula and just start from the side and start rolling your dough out. Like I said, it is going to be sticky, so use your spatula and just get everything out onto the counter. When you're done with that, you take your spatula and you just start rolling this over from one side. Once you've rolled it over, get a bit more flour, sprinkle it on top. It's a little bit much. And you carry on folding. Fold it in from the other side. Fold it again from that side. Roll it off your counter to make sure you've got all the dough. And now you can start taking your hand, start forming a little ball. Next thing you do is you can take some parchment paper, take a different bowl, put your parchment paper in the center over your bowl, and you are then going to take your ball that you have just made, and you're going to drop it in the middle. Make sure your parchment paper is perfectly in the middle. Once you've done your parchment paper, you are now going to cover it with a cloth. Once you've covered it, you are now going to leave it for 35 minutes. Depending on how long it takes your oven to warm up, 
So our oven takes about 15 minutes to warm up. So 15 minutes before this is ready, I'm going to start warming up the oven. And inside the oven, you must make sure that you put your Dutch oven or your bush pot in the oven and let it warm up with your oven. So we're going to just put our oven onto 230. With the Dutch oven inside already, as I said earlier on, make sure you warm up the Dutch oven together with your oven. Alright, now let's take out the Dutch oven first. Make sure you use protection because it's very, very hot. Put it down onto a wooden board. Take this off. Okay, you're gonna take that, you're gonna take your lid off, put it down, and all you're gonna do then be very careful it's hot. Take your dough in the parchment paper and drop it straight in there. Take your lid, put the lid back on again, and once you've got everything back in there, you're going to put it back into the oven for 35 minutes. Take it out after 35 minutes, you're going to check, take the lid off, check if your top is brown, or if your top is starting to burn, you're going to leave the lid on, and do it for another 10 minutes. If it's not um, crisping or browning yet, then you'll take your top off, and you leave it off and do it for the final 10 minutes. 10 minutes. But in total, you will do it for 45 minutes. Alright, so let's get it into the oven. Again, make sure you get your protection because it is hot. Okay, straight back into the oven. And now you just set your oven. 35 minutes and you're going to run. See you in 35 minutes, we'll show you what, what it looks like. Alright, after your 45 minutes, now you can take out now you can take out your bread. Here we go. What the bread is starting to look like. Leave it in there for another five minutes just to cool down a little bit and then we will take it out. And this kind of bread you'll probably pay a fortune for at a farmer's market. And here I've just showed you how to make it yourself quick and easy in your own kitchen. No hassle because there's no need. All you really need is the time to let it rest. And then you put it in and as you can see it comes out absolutely beautiful. The first thing I'm going to do is cut the slice cover it in butter and just eat it like that. There's nothing like fresh bread. Alright, so with this bread, you can do anything. We're going to have it tonight with some soup. You can make yourself sandwiches with it. You can use it to make some gourmet sandwiches if you want to. If you just slice it up and then you get yourself some lettuce, some tomato, a bit of cheese, some roast meat or something like that. And you can make yourself an absolutely stunning sandwich with it. The bread is now cooled down a little bit, so now we're going to just tip it over onto a nice cooling rack. And as you can see, the bread is absolutely beautiful. All I'll do is just have a cloth like this, tip it over onto my hand, and then tip it back over onto my cooling rack. And there you've got a perfect bread. And that is what your bread will look like inside. Absolutely perfect. Nice big enough air bubbles in there. This is going to be absolutely delicious with our soup because that will soak up your soup 100% and it's going to be delicious. Let's get some soup. I'm going to have a piece just with butter. And the nice thing about being the person who's baking the bread, you can choose which side you want. And I wanted the crust, as you can hear. That's what the bread should sound like when, you, when you've made it. So that I'm going to have as it is the butter on it. Mm. Perfect. Absolutely delicious. Tell us in the comments what yours came out like. Mm. If you want to see more of this kind of videos, remember to give us a like, subscribe, comment, all those nice things. You really get such a sense of achievement when you make a beautiful bread like this.